Good afternoon, Evolution family. Today is Wednesday, April 6, 2022. It's a little bit after 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm Jose Lambert of Archer Travel Service. I want to welcome you to the Archer Travel Wednesday training. Uh, today, uh, what we're doing is we're it's fraud week, uh, travel fraud protection week. And um, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to um, travel fraud and prevention and detection. So these are some great slides that I have this PowerPoint uh, presentation for you. But listen, if you want to get a copy of these slides, all you need to do is email me and uh, that information will be at the end and I'll send you these slides. These are important facts that new agents should know about because uh, it seems like this happens in a wave constantly. It's either like we get a lot of it and then it dies down. We get a lot of it and it's usually because we have waves of agents that come in. You know, we've looked at the data when you guys can recruit the most usually after the holidays and then it builds up and then it dies down again. So um, that's why we, we've been doing this. And we haven't touched on this since like last fall. So we, Susie and I and Violet thought, you know, this might be a good time to touch on this because this is very important. This can affect you and your pocketbook or your wallet. All right, so let's go to the next slide. Hi, Amanda, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing really well. How was Steve? How was the, did you guys like in the American Airlines presentation? You know, type yeah, in there. really great. He, he showed us um, some new things about American Airlines vacations as well as we got how to register. And Good. That's in the Travel Cafe website. So check it out if you want to if you want to learn more. You guys book a lot of that, but now you don't need to book that in back. You can actually go to American Airlines vacations and book it there. That will solve a whole bunch of problems because um, we do have issues like when you're calling when because Vax doesn't know. American Airlines doesn't know that you can book them in VAX. And when you call American Airlines, they go, VAX? What is VAX vacation access? They don't know. They don't get it. All right, let's go to the next slide. Okay, the, here's the Archer Travel tips of the day. And I and I keep, I keep, you know, hammering these things because these are important. Tell your clients, they even had a call today. Luckily, they called today because uh, the client just checked in last night. But tell your clients when traveling, to contact you immediately if anything is wrong, if it's the wrong room category, if the cabin's not correct, if they're in a, you know, an interior stateroom and they wanted a balcony, resort, etc. Contact me right away. Do not wait. Do not tell the client to go to the management. That's what you are there for, and this is why you have to be available 24/7. I'm sorry. If you want to be a professional in this industry, you've got to be available 24/7. Just like EMTs and doctors and all that, you have to be. Uh, when that happens, if something does happen, you contact us, we'll contact the supplier, and we'll get the issue fixed. Hopefully, it's one of the preferred suppliers. That's why they're preferred. I can get a lot more stuff done, you know, working with Delta Vacations or Pleasant Holidays or uh, Apple Leisure Group than working with GoGo or all these other things that you guys want to go and, you know, God, get a better price over there. And, you know, and you guys, I'm, I'm telling you, mm, I love you with the, all of my heart, Evolution family. You know I do. But don't call me up about the price. Oh, the price is too high. I'm like, really? The prices are too high in Disney? I don't hear you complaining about that. And they keep raising them. I don't hear you complain about that. I don't hear you complain about, well, I want, you know, the Bellagio is $550 on Memorial Day weekend. Yes, the Bellagio is that. It's either that or the D or the, you know, the Sahara or, you know, those you know, be in reality of these prices. And I'm sorry, but due to the pent up demand for travel this season, it's going to get skyrocketing high. We're going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow during Destination Specialist, which you're not going to want to miss because in Destination Specialist tomorrow, we're going to cover the 21 day procedures. Again, we're going to go step by step so you guys can have this information because we're getting too much confusion from you guys. And it seems like you guys don't know what you're doing or or do you think you have to do this or whatever? Okay, oh, let's go back. Uh, Amanda, I forgot the other two tips. Make sure to get the names of your customer service reps you're speaking with, cruises, suppliers, vendors. That is really important. I don't know how many times that, you know, you guys call me, oh, I got this problem with backs and blah, 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 blah. Help me, Jose. Okay, who, who'd you speak to? I don't know. I'm like, what? You waited three hours to get them on the line and you didn't get their names down? Come on, all right? That's more fuel for me. I can help you better when you have that information ready. And you should be doing that. Each time you speak to a supplier, vendor, and cruise line, have paper and pencil ready and just get ready to do it. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Now we can go. Okay, a couple of tips before we get into, um, you know, uh, travel, uh, travel fraud protection and 
detection. Um, number one, never, ever, ever, ever pay out of pocket the booking payment costs of the trip. Your pocket. Don't worry, Mr. Klein, I'll put it on my credit. No, 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 no. Uh, because then that's going to be difficult when he's sticking into the hotel and, and the hotel's in Jose Lambert's name. And he's not Jose Lambert, so that's number one. But you guys are getting too, you know, oh, yeah, I can go on Uplift and blah, blah. You're not a banker. You're, you're a travel advisor. Don't get into banking and holding monies and paying this and paying that. No. We've seen, we've had experiences with this, and you guys, there have been really bad experiences. So that's not what this is. You're a travel agent advisor. You're not a bank. If you want to be a bank, then don't be in the travel business. Go into the banking business. But never, ever, ever pay out of your pocket the booking payment cost of the trip. Make sure all payments are done with the client's credit card. Just make sure it's... And let me tell you something. If the client doesn't have a credit card, you know that, that's a warning light right there. Alarm should be going off. That's like saying I don't have a cell phone. You got to have a credit card or a debit card nowadays. If you want to fly, if you want to fly a lot, if you want to go cruising, you got to have a credit card or a debit card. Period. Well, I don't know. My, I just pay everything in cash. Well, you know, find somebody, a relative or something you can give that money to so they can pay for your cruise. But don't go, don't put it. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Klein. I'll take your $4,000 and I'll put it on my credit card. No, no, don't go into that. Okay. Be careful with social media, especially how you obtain a client. I'm going to show you some examples of this. Okay. Um, you know, you guys, I, I keep harping on this and, and I, you know, I know a lot of you live in cold environments and it's really hard for you to get out because, you know, it's brutal environments, especially like around Columbus and, you know, and Buffalo and, and uh, you know, Maine and New Hampshire and all those areas because they, they still get snow in April. They do. And I know it's a drag to get out there, but you're going to have to get out there. Quit relying on social media as the only way to market your business. Another way is to get out there and meet people and let them know that what you do, you know, that's, that's why we have, we have a closet full of brands, of, of t-shirts, of, you know, sweaters, of everything, you know, hoodies, everything. But to get your brand out there so when people see it, they go, wow, the Jill bag. I mean, I'm surprised your girlfriends haven't seen the Jill bag. If you don't know what the Jill bag is, go check it out. You know, that thing's a great thing. And, and I know some of you even have bought four of them. <laughs> so, so, you know, for one person, but they're great bags and that will generate your business. If they see that, they go, what is that? That's the joke from where? Evolution, what's evolution? There it goes. It starts. All right, let's go to the next slide. It's currently 94 degrees outside. Ah! Here in Southern California, we're going to get to 100. All right, what is travel fraud exactly? Okay, um, I'm sure you've heard of fraud before. But here's an example of travel fraud. I'm going to try to get out of the way here. So look, travel fraud are schemes for making money by deceptive, dishonest, or fraudulent means. Example, in travel fraud, victims are told by email that they have won a free trip, an incredibly cheap trip. However, these trips often have hidden costs. Tours that are advertised as free may not be included, like airfare to the departure point or hotel accommodation. The recipient of the free trip is required to make these extra reservations through a specific company. In those instances, the costs are much higher than the market price. This has happened before. This happened a lot uh, in the Spanish community. Um, my my ex's um, my, my ex mother in law, right? She uh, is from Costa Rica and she doesn't speak any English. And she was a diehard listening to uh, Christian radio in Spanish. And she found out that she could go to Disney for like three or four days for $100 each person. So she coughed up the money and then they took her money away. And that was really sad that they advertised on a Christian, Spanish Christian radio station, but that's how fraudsters work. So if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. And you should know that about the internet. If it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. It's not real, all right? Let's go to the next slide. I'm gonna show you some types of fraud here in a moment. Okay, evolution archer types of rods. Here we go. This, this is the biggest one that we have. It's called the chargeback. Man, this light is just like right in my eye. This one's called the chargeback. Online shoppers can deliberately abuse the chargeback process to get something for free. A hotel booking or airline ticketing chargebacks are rampant, and they can affect travel uh, intermediaries as well. For example, a customer purchases an expensive vacation package through a travel agency, but even one aspect of the experience can make them demand a chargeback on the entire vacation. So, in other words, okay, you know, the, the monies are owed, right? And so this happens a lot when when people have fake credit cards. 
This is how they make their money. Or they've stolen credit cards or they've hacked into someone's account. They'll call up Archer Travel and they want this and this and this and this and this. And they get there and they go, oh, no, I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to da 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 And then what they do is they charge it back to them, okay? And we have an outstanding bill of $3,000 at that hotel that that client never did. So now we have to cough up to $3,000. So this happens a lot with chargebacks and Susie's going to get into the chargebacks tomorrow a lot better because she's the one who deals with them here. And we have a whole fraud team now. Can you believe it? we have a fraud team that handles this for you guys? So uh, it's something that you should be aware of. Like, for example, if a client, you know, is booking in a, you know, I, I showed you about the client who um, needs help, right? Uh, agent called me this morning, the client's in Costa Rica. He just checked into the hotel. Uh, he doesn't like it. It's not anything. So I forwarded it to Expedia because that's where it was booked. And I went, now here's an example of someone who can come back and charge back those funds. And then we're held to hold in the back because those property needs to be paid. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, another one. Internet travel agent fraud. Fraudsters prey on travel agents now. New agents and especially those who have their guard down because they're trying to book at the last minute. Travel agents are especially at risk with big ticket items like lavish vac vacation packages, which combine air and hotel. Example, I need to be at the, the at Caesars Palace tomorrow and I need the penthouse and I want first class tickets flying out of JFK, blah, 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 blah. Okay. We go, oh my God, that's good. I want to make so much commission. Nope. You're going to get ripped off. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So watch out for that. Okay. Travel fraud also. And we get this a lot with new agents. Facebook inquiry. Example, you're an agent in Detroit, Michigan, and you're in evolution. You're about the fourth or sixth month in. Yeah, da, 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 da. and I'm on Facebook and I'm in all the groups and I'm chatting to everybody. I'm chatting to the, you know, the uplines and da, 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 da. And all of a sudden you get an inquiry from Seattle, Washington. Wow, I found you on Facebook. You know, I'm, I'm planning on doing a cruise with me and my wife. And da, 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 da. Can you fix it for me? Sure, Mr. Client. Now, does that make sense to you? Does it? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Do they have travel agents and travel advisors in Seattle? I would think so. Would I want to go and take my business to somebody I don't know on Facebook? Would I? No. <laughs> no. I want to know who I'm dealing with. Right? I mean, just, you know, I, I, I throw it the other way around. If I'm living in Seattle, okay, and I want to book for a cruise, if I meet someone on Facebook, do I really want them to book my travel from Detroit? No. So think about that. We get too many, uh, and it's usually the new age is like, oh, Jose, they want this, you know, they want to go to Egypt and blah, 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 blah. And okay, do you know these people? No. Have you spoken to them? No. Or yes. I'm really excited about, them. well, okay, it's up to you. Know, listen, the thing about it is, you guys, you guys sign this. And if you don't have a credit card authorization form, right? And if you don't do this properly, you're, you're, you're the one who has to pay for that hotel bill. Not us. You guys sign that when you join. So that's why I'm saying, make sure, don't be doing that. If you have a Facebook page, you have a lot of people on there that you know, yes. If you know them, their family members, their friends or whatever. And even if you get referrals from friends, be careful there. You know, you don't know them. They don't know you. So, but be careful. All right. Only use this email. Again, this person is saying like, oh, no, I don't have time to talk on, on the phone. I just, just email me the, the information of the quote. The, the booking is too good to be true. Vegas, Caesar's Palace, the penthouse, first class here out of New York. Won't fill out the Archer authorization form. Ding, 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 ding. No. Do stop. Go to jail. Do not go home. If they won't do that. Now, I even told some agents, I said, if you're starting this, I would move this up here. So let's say you do get an inquiry from Seattle. Go, okay, great. You know what? Before we proceed, our company policy is you have to fill this out. And I need a copy of your driver's license, a copy of the credit card, or I can't proceed with it. They will go away that fast. They will. Boom. In a hurry to book. Oh, yeah, come on, hurry up. I, I, I need that quote because I did it. Uh, to, uh, travel tonight, tomorrow, and the next day, in the next two to three days. And this is why we've done this analyzation from all this data that we've acquired through the past years. When does fraud really happen? It happens in two to three days, out, like tomorrow or the next day or the next day. That's why we've put in the 21 day procedures. And that's why it's really important that you follow those and we're going to go into those tomorrow in depth so you guys know exactly what to do. With them. All right, let's go to the next slide. Right, Amanda? Dun, 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 dun. Fraud detection. 
Right prevention. <clears throat> okay, how do you prevent it? Connect with the client via phone. Make sure that this is a real person. Make sure that you've checked his address on Google Maps. Make sure the driver's license looks like his. Let's, you know, everything. He fills out the credit card authorization form, copy of all the IDs, uh, check all references, Facebook, family, go in and check. You know, John Miller, Seattle, da, da, da. Oh, you're a college professor. Where did you teach? Go back, check that. When in doubt, contact Upline and Archer Travel. Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah, see my new cup? Check it out. Check it out. Evolution Travel. Look, it is even on the other side too. Most times you only get it on one side of the cup, but that, that looks really cool. Okay, important. Upline recruiters and um, sponsors. This is something also. We've been getting a lot of fraud <clears throat> from new new agents that you guys recruit via Facebook or Google, whatever you do, Google ads and stuff that you haven't even met, right? You haven't even met them. And that's fine, but you know, this is what you need to do. Upline recruiters and sponsors, please check all new evolution agents and reach out to them. Are they legitimate? See if they're real, feel them out, vet them, get, get to know them. They will generate more business for you, number one, because they're going to give you 10% of their commission. But if something doesn't feel right, contact Upline or Archer Travel. So make sure we get that because there's, we've had several instances like, what, you just joined yesterday and he's buying, you know, $5,000 worth of universal tickets? That doesn't make sense. That's a fraudster. So we really need you, if you're seeing new people come in and you guys are checking your back office every day to see what new agents you have that you automatically got, reach out to them reach out to them because this is really important. We want to prevent this from happening. Okay. Serious stuff. All right, let's go to the next slide. Okay. Here's an example. Susie talked about this last week and I just want to refresh you about it. Okay. Um, she got an email. No, this was a call. This was a call from an agent who said, uh, yeah, there's some, so this guy says that his family is in Ukraine and that he needs to book air right now and get them to fly into Tijuana and, and all this like really weird stuff. And I go, you know what? You see, this is really sad because this, what they're preying on here is they're, they're preying on your sentimentality towards the Ukrainian people. And that's really sad that they're doing that. That really is. But fraudsters, when there's stuff going on, I mean, I don't know. I just saw a report the other day about how fraud happened during the pandemic and like millions of dollars were stolen for fraud, for coronavirus fraud. So, you know, in regards to, you know, boosters and, and um, vaccines and all that kind of stuff. But so it happens during these times. So number one, nothing's flying out of Ukraine. There's a no fly zone. So you cannot fly out of Kiev. You know, you got to get to another country outside of there to Poland or somewhere else and go there to fly out. Now, be aware of this. If you've got emails and things like that that are showing you that um, I need a flight from London to Dubai, again, warning bell should go off. You can't be doing that booking. First off, Archer Travel, the Archer Go app will not work that way. Archer Go will not uh, issue tickets from uh, international places. It has to start in the United States, uh, in, in, in Hawaii and, and St. Thomas, those places, but it has to be on U.S. ground. Uh, you can't just go, oh, okay, uh, you know, you can't go to the fairground and go London to Dubai. Mm -mm, no. Now, you could do it if you were doing like, you know, uh, New York, Dubai, and you had to stop in London. Yeah, but you can't do London to Dubai in, in Archer Go. You can on other engines, though, but be careful of this. Air ticketing from Ukraine. All right, so that's one. There's an example. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> okay, really... I don't know, it keeps popping up the, the update, Amanda. Can we give, there we go. There's Mark, Mark Wahlberg was there. Okay, um, here's something that we got and we copied this. We got this a couple of years ago, but this just didn't seem right. And, and you can see that there's some things here that don't, that don't make sense. This is a password we got. This gentleman's name is John Kine, but look who signed it, Amber. I'm like, what? Okay, let me tell you something. This document, this is one of the most important documents that you can have on you for identification when you're going in, you know, internationally abroad. You want it to be perfect, like your driver's license. So seeing stuff like Amber, when this guy's name is John Conley, just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Also, you see all this? This is all like smashed in together. It's, it, there were some things here and then, again, Conley, but we had the Amber, I guess it was an Amber alert, but really check the passports. Here's an example of a fraud passport. All right, let's go to the next slide. 
<laughs> okay, again, John Connolly, right? But again, this is John Connolly's credit card that Amber signed. I mean, I'm like, what? And here's something really weird that we noticed that why is the Visa logo here? Usually the, the logo is usually on the back, but why is it here? And there was just some really weird things on this credit card. Like I said, 4408. What's the 4408 number underneath there? And I went, that, that never supposed to happen. So there's some things here that we went, wait a minute. And these are things that you have to be aware of. So when you see credit cards and passports come in your way, and you will, if you start booking, look at them specifically. And if you have any questions, if you need any help, if something, if something in your gut's not feeling right, give us a call. We'd rather you call us than, oh, no, I don't want to bother Jose again. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I hear that from you guys all the time. Oh, I don't want to bother you again. That's why Mr. Archer puts me in that chair. That's why Susie and I are there. That's why Susie Violet and I and Dave Mashon are there is to help you guys. So when something doesn't feel right, call us right away. Okay, I would rather have that happen than, oh, man, you owe $45,000. All right, let's go to the next slide. But, okay, broad examples. Here's some letters, Okay. This is from Evolution Agent Tiffany. This was received Friday, last September. Hello, I would like to request the quote for one room at any four-star hotel in Paris from the 4th and the 7th of September. Notice th this was sent. We got this September 3rd, and this person wants us to book for the 4th through the 7th of September to be fully prepaid for the three nights for one adult. Kindly forward all your findings to me as soon as possible and advise the type of credit card your company accepts for payment. Look forward to your reply. Kindest regards. Karen Biondo. Okay? Ding, 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 ding. Fraud. Fraud, fraud, fraud. Now, if you want to chase this down, go ahead. Okay? You send her back on, you know, Karen, can I talk to you? Da, 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 da. Uh, I'm looking at some possible, you know, what's your budget? Da, 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 da. And if she's like, no, I, I only, I, I just, just send me the information. What credit card do you accept? Then you know it's fraud. Or send her back on, gosh, Karen, thank you so much for your email inquiry. Could you please fill out this credit card authorization form before I start doing all this research? That's our new company policy here at Archer Travel. Yeah, and I'm going to need a copy of your driver's license and a copy of your credit card front and back. Then I can proceed and we can book this really quick for you. See? Let's go to the next one. Fraud prevention. Mm -hmm. Good evening. <laughs> Uh, so this is Tiffany, uh, agent, back to Karen. The hotels I have contact, uh, contacted are booked up until Sunday, September 5th, 2021. They are all four and five star hotels. I have put in a request for three, but to be honest with you, wanting to book for the fourth and today is the third is a very short notice. Some vendors may not want to have what you want on short notice. Also, all short notice bookings must be purchased with a certified check from the bank where funds can be verified and documented. Please be advised that we will not accept any major credit cards on short uh, notice due to the fact that there is a lot of fraudulent bookings happening with all the travel agencies at this time. If you would like to proceed with certified money order, please let me know of a new date for you of your booking. As of now, nothing is available for tomorrow from my vendor contacts. Thank you. Tiffany, this was the end result. The client has not responded as of yet. So what she did here was she used the certified check thing. I always like using the credit card authorization thing. Because that, that, that's like, oh, what, what? you want that? Oh, no, I don't, I don't get that out. Another warning. Okay? When, you're, when you're booking and uh, they go, okay, Mr. Johnson, you're, you're know, ready to book the, you know, the cruise. Yeah, I, you know, I need a credit card authorization for, oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't, I'm not going to get that out. What do you mean you're not? You know, what, what do you mean you're not going to get that out? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, okay. You know, that's for your protection and my protection. I'm protecting your booking. So I just want to make sure, because what I'm going to quote to you, it's not going to be a penny more or a penny less. That way I want you to be aware of it if something is, if there's some activity on your card, it's not us. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Here's some more examples, more example examples. Okay, uh, I would like to request a quote. Uh, for, you know, this, this letter keeps changing. This was last September. Now, this letter just keeps changing, and I'll show you one that I just got yesterday from, from an agent. Uh, I would like to request a quote for a trip departing from London to Dubai on the 24th of May, nonstop morning flights preferable on Emirates and returning on the 30th of May, nonstop afternoon for two flights, including five night hotel accommodations and three star in Dubai. Flight should be economy class. Please kindly forward your findings at Tenerife affairs to me as soon as possible and advise the type of credit card your company accepts for payment. I'll look forward to your regards to your reply, Nancy Powell. 
Let's go to the next one. Someone said, what if they actually send you a certified check? And I said, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. No. The certified check. No, I wouldn't even go with a certified check. I don't care. No, no. Who the heck plays with a certified check? I mean, that they're going to go down to the bank and get one. I would not even, I, you know, if, it, if you, I'm telling you. Because, you know, remember, you're an agent in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, and the client's in Seattle. They're going to send you a certified check from the Seattle bank. Do you know if there's even that bank that you can cash it in? Right? That's what I'm saying. Well, you take it to the bank and you make sure it's Well, then you got to wait. Legit. Okay. And then, then you have to wait for the check to clear. Oh, okay? yeah. Well, then, right? and then you, after the check clears. And, and what clear. if the check doesn't clear? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, you guys listen. For your first six, seven months, you know who's really good at this? Donna Fontaine is really good at this. Because she, she's been doing this for like nine, eight, eight nine years. You know, Patrice Abel Vance, you know. Nina Mitchells, you know, uh, Gina DeMassey, these agents that have this experience, they they know right in their gut right away. You know, Robert Putnam knows right away when it's fraud. They know it. They know it. So mm -hmm. don't don't be messing with this. Don't be okay. messing with this. Just don't. Just go, forget it, all right? Um, okay, uh, let's go back one because I did add one. Okay, so we, okay, here it is, okay? I showed you the other one, right? This is the new one. And remember the same person, okay? <laughs> right? This is the same person. Um, and this one, it just happened. Yeah, right? Right, Amanda, go back to the last one, the one before this one. What? Okay, that's this one. This is, okay. Th okay, this one I meant that this one meant it was like, is like the Dubai one. I require the service of your travel agency. Kindly check the itinerary route for the details. Again, LAX, Dubai, LAX, airline. Please note, I will send the, uh, the, pa the passenger name to block the seat along with uh, it, my credit card details for payment as soon as possible. So. Yeah, you guys don't be messing with this. Do not be messing with this. Okay, I'm just telling you. Let's go to the next slide and the next slide. Let's go to the next. This this guy is supposed to be me. Okay, in my younger days, in my college days, um, when we first started this program about six seven years ago, we made this great animation, and it's a really good animation too. You can see it on YouTube, but I always like to show it because you also learn some things about it. Go ahead and roll in, Amanda. Hello, Evolution Agents. Ron Archer here. And today we want to share with you important information about travel fraud detection and prevention. In this webinar, we will go over simple techniques and solutions to deal with travel fraud. We hope that you, the agent, will be able to detect and prevent travel fraud in your own home-based travel business. Did you know that there's $1.4 billion in credit card fraud committed every year against the travel industry? That's right, $1.4 billion with a B. And that happens to all types of travel agents, regardless of whether they're beginners or experienced. First, let me share the not so good news. As an Evolution Travel Agent, you are responsible for all financial arrangements and transactions within your home-based travel business. That means you need to protect yourself. And to complicate matters, many errors and omissions insurance carriers won't protect travel agents against fraud. So that means you need to protect yourself. And once fraud occurs, it's very difficult for travel agents to recover the funds. So we want to help you eliminate fraud up front. Now for the good news. While you can't eliminate the risk of fraud, there are tons of ways to safeguard against it. One of them is to understand how criminals work. Our staff at Archer Travel have compiled travel agent detection and prevention guidelines to assist you. We've also included a link at the end of this webinar so you can download these guidelines and print them for your personal use. If you still have questions or need more assistance in dealing with this subject, please do not hesitate to contact us at Archer Travel. So now I would like to bring in our training agent, Jose Lambert, who will help you to detect and prevent fraud from happening with your travel bookings. Jose? Thanks, Ron. Fraud is a 24 seven job for fraudsters. Beginning agents, returning agents, and even experienced agents can fall into the web of travel fraudsters. Evolution travel agents should be aware of the following warning signs. Number one, the potential client avoids or refuses to complete the Archer Travel credit card authorization form. Number two, Facebook inquiries from someone you've never heard of who resides in a different part of the United States or the world 
It's a warning sign. If they need to contact you right away so they can book travel that same day or that same night. Number three, be careful if a potential client is in an extreme hurry to book. It's the warning sign if they are attempting to travel to faraway locations today or tomorrow and want to book right away. Number four, the booking is too good to be true. For example, the potential client wants five deluxe suites for the cruise booking, or they want to book three penthouse suites at the Ryu Palace in Punta Cana. Number five, they only use email and do not want to be bothered with phone calls. You should check the time and origins of all these emails. Fraudsters target travel agents every day. It's not realistic to stop fraud, but what we can do is try to spot it early and make those losses as minimal as possible. Many times there are cases of fraud that could have been avoided simply by checking basic data. Knowing your customer is key to not becoming a victim. In cases of uncertainty, here is our checklist of ways to prevent travel fraud. Number one, know your clients. Get referrals of your clients from people you know. Number two, have your client fill out the Archer Travel credit card authorization form. Get a copy of their driver's license and the copy of the front and back of their credit card. Number three, ask for the client's home address and then look it up on Google Maps to see if it corresponds to what you have been told. Even if the address exists, take it a step further and ask them what color their front door is. Number four, connect with your clients via phone. Ask the client to provide you with a telephone number to use for contact purposes. Then do a reverse lookup to verify if the addresses match using whitepages.com. If the client says they don't have time for phone calls, this should be a big warning. Number five, check out the client's social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see if their profile looks suspicious. Number six, when in doubt about potential fraudster, contact your upline or Archer Travel. If you have been a victim of travel fraud, contact the local authorities in your area as soon as possible. Prevention is your best defense. Ron? Thank you, Jose. That's great information. Remember, Evolution family, we really want to help you protect against fraud. So if you have any suspicious bookings or suspicious clients, do not hesitate to get in touch with the office and we can help you determine whether it's a legitimate booking or not. As always, we appreciate your hard work, your energy, and your efforts. <laughs> so, okay, that's a great video. Again, you know, uplines, uh, you know, platinum, silvers, golds, that you guys have your own team trainings and things like that. This is, this is on YouTube. Show this to new agents so they're aware of it. You know, I, I, we get too many agents that, oh, I didn't know that was this. I didn't know that was that. You know, I had an agent today that didn't know. I go, why didn't you call us? Oh, I didn't know. Was she signed a contract, a group hotel contract. I'm like, mm -hmm. don't be doing that. So that's why I need you guys that are recruiting people to make sure that they connect with us if they've got questions. So they don't end up, you know, this poor girl, if this hotel booking goes down, she's in charge. She's, you know, it's, it's her. It's on her. It's on her. And we don't want to see that happen to people. All right, let's go to the next slide. I'm wearing my, I work in the zoo shirt, you know, at the elephant. You work at the zoo, Jose? <laughs> yeah, come on. You want to see the, the elephants? Come with me. Safari. Come with me to the elephants. <laughs> oh, you do have a question, Jose, before you do this. Oh, okay. Um, okay. okay, so with uh, the new passports, where is the new area to sign? I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? With, with the new passports, where is the I, new area to I don't sign know. them? I don't know. They are changing that. We reported that in the uh, Archer Travel Morning Briefing Report that there will be changes to the new passports. You're going to have to wait till you get your passport and you'll see it then. When you receive your passport, you should sign it automatically right away so you have that documented signature in your passport. But I, I don't know. I, it would probably be in the same place, most probably. Um, but I, I don't know. I haven't seen what the new passports look like. So... If you guys get a new one, you know, send it to me and I'll take a look at it. Okay. Anything else? Um, I think that's it. Sorry. There's just a lot of comments. I was just shuffling through to make sure I got that. All right, that's all right. Well, so listen, some commercials. Next week, uh, I mean, tomorrow, join us. Susie and I will be here. We're going to go through the 21 days procedures. 
And I really want you guys to give this information to these new agents so they know what they're doing. We're getting stuff that is 21 days going to Peggy. And it shouldn't be going to Peggy. It should be going to Susie. Peggy only gets the Archer Go Air stuff. And then in 21 days, uh, Susie's getting Peggy stuff. So it's like, we're like, what is this? So you guys aren't following it. So we're going to go step by step tomorrow. So you have that information and you can refer it to your new agents. And that way this will work much smoother and faster and be much more efficient with you. And you guys can you know get through it and get to the next booking. Okay. All right. Anything else, Amanda? Um, no, I think that's it. We put the link in the chat for the video. Um, so if you're interested in sharing the video or want to watch it again. Yeah. It is there. All right. All right, everybody. I'm Jose Lambert of Archer Travel Service. I will see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time with Susie for Destination Specialists. It's going to be a special training on 21-day procedures. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow.